revolving door of resignations. That's what many are calling the last 24 hours in corporate Australia with senior executives at both the National Australia Bank and David Jones stepping down. Let's get more on this with Nine's finance editor, Ross Greenwood. Ross, a, a big blow for the business world. There's no doubt about it. It was right here yesterday where the drama unfolded for the National Australia Bank at its Sydney headquarters. What happened was that Sydney-based directors met here yesterday to decide the fate of not only the Chief Executive Andrew Thorburn, but also the Chairman Ken Henry. This is a massive shake-up and it came in the wake of criticism from the Hain Royal Commission, which said that those two men could not be held accountable to change the culture inside the bank, a culture that had seen money in an unauthorised manner taken from its customers' bank accounts, especially in superannuation. So as a result of that, Ken Henry and Andrew Thorburn announced that they will go. Thorburn will be gone in three weeks' time. Ken Henry, the former Treasury Secretary for Australia, will go once a new Chief Executive has been appointed. He went on television last night to explain his side of the story. Here's a little of what he said. NAB does aspire. Um, to do the right thing by every customer, every time and everywhere. And we're a long way from that. We've got an absolute mountain to climb. It was an, Im it was an important thing, of course, to say this, to make certain that customers are confident in the bank. But this was also about the shareholders. 88% of them voted against the company's pay deal last year. At the same time, David Jones, one of Australia's largest and oldest department stores, lost its fourth chief executive in just five years. So in this particular case, the chief executive gone, and it was an allegation suggesting that there was a discrimination case against him last year. There was an investigation. He was cleared from that, and it said he's left for personal reasons. But, of course, at the same time, retail sales are well down.